All right, so we've got a quick preview of the Microsoft Word interface. Now, if you're on an earlier edition that I have here, you're gonna see some slight differences. If you're on a newer version, there might be some slight differences. I've, I'm recording this one here using Word 2013. If you're on 2010, it looks almost identical. If you're on 2016, practically identical. If you're on 2007, you're gonna see a little bit of differences in there, nothing big. If you're on something earlier than that, then you're going to see some pretty drastic differences. But right around 2013, you're going to see very, very similar interfaces. And I want to break down one of the changes that they made back in the 2007 release of Excel. And this is called the ribbon. This is really the top portion of my screen here. And this is where you're going to find all of the commands that deal with working with Microsoft Word documents. So. Here, it's broken up into tabs. I've got Home, Insert, Design, Page Layout, References, and so on. Now, very important, these tabs, really two things here, they contain all the features that you're gonna use as you build your documents and modify and edit these documents. Two, you're gonna see the ribbon change. You're gonna see additional tabs show up occasionally depending on what you're doing in the application. So I want to introduce you just quickly to navigating this, this ribbon and finding features that are going to be important to you. Now, once again, we're just going to get a quick preview of this portion of the interface of Word, but this is something that we'll continue to nail down as we continue through this course and talk about the, the all of the various features that are, consist within the Word application. So first tab, we got there, we got the Home tab. And as you can see, the Home tab is broken up into different categories. We've got the clipboard, font, we've got paragraph features, we got styles, very, very neat. We'll talk some more about styles later on. But they've kind of categorized features on this home tab. If I hop over to the insert tab or the design tab or page layout and so on, you're gonna see that it's very similar. It's still broken up into these little categorized chunks of tools. They're just different sets of tools. On the insert tab, you got things like inserting tables, inserting images, inserting references and links and so on. I go to the design tab and you're talking about styles and themes and really just kind of the, the look and feel or design of the document as a whole. Page layout, a lot of print options in here with columns and the size of your paper, the margins and so on. So I highly recommend get familiar with the ribbon. Get familiar with the interface itself, click through the tabs, just take a look at what's out there. What types of features are you gonna be exposed to as you work inside of a Word document? Now, if you're a seasoned pro inside of Word, you've probably done this and you've done it a lot. But I still recommend, jump in there, just take a look at the different features. On some of your systems, you may even see more tabs. If you see other tabs, Jump into the QA section of this course and let us know what other tabs you see up there. There might be some specific to your company, uh, ones that you've installed on your system or IT or your team installed on your system. There may be some that you've activated, whether that was intentionally or not, but you've got an additional tab there. Uh, one such tab that you might see that you won't see on every system is the, the, the developer tab. The developer tab deals with macros and more extensive type automation and form creation that you wouldn't do just in a normal Word document. But that's one that you might see that's not on my screen right now. Now I said that the, the ribbon is dynamic and you're gonna see it change, you're gonna see other tools show up. So I just wanna give you a quick preview of that. Take a look. If I go back to the insert tab and I go insert a picture, Let's, let's do an online picture here. Online pictures, these were introduced in the 2013 release of Word. So it's loading it up, it's out searching online. So it's like jumping out to Internet Explorer and it's, it's loading stuff up for me. So I'm gonna do a quick Bing search here. I'll just look for dog. Now, keep in mind Microsoft, Bing, they're Microsoft tools, Microsoft Word. So it uses Bing for the online search stuff. If you're on a Mac, unfortunately, you won't have the uh, online uh, images, illustrations, at least up to the uh, 2013 release, maybe in the future. 
When I grab a dog, I'm going to go ahead and insert. That drops out. Look at that cute little dog right there. So with that image selected, though, I've now dropped the image in there. And you can see up here at the top of my screen that I got picture tools with the new tab called Format. And it's now giving me all sorts of features that deal with that image. Okay, so again, watch your ribbon. You're going to see other tabs, other tools show up based on stuff that you install or even what you're doing in the application itself, such as I have an image selected, so they're giving me picture tools with format options for that image. Tables would be another one. Another big opportunity inside of Word is to build tables to help you structure your data. You want a list. Maybe it's names of employees, coworkers, or clients, or orders, whatever it might be. You've got a big list and you put that in the table. Well, you're then going to get a tables tab with all sorts of design tools for that table. So again, get familiar with the ribbon, poke around in there, just see what's in there, and watch for other tabs to show up as well as you continue working inside of Microsoft Word.